Hi everyone, Angus Campbell here, uh, morning after, so now it's Sunday the uh, 26th of May, so just a, a quick resume that um, in the last video we uh, did a bit of testing ultimately on the rear electrics and we've uh, put the, uh, we've fitted the seat properly, I've also connected up the, uh, the central electrics except for the ignition switch. Also, what I did do last night was a, a few smaller jobs just to keep momentum going while this uh, the last video is publishing. So, first of all, um, side stand, foot rests, rear brake pedal are all just about mounted up. Uh, rear foot rests with silencer brackets and then at the front I have now got the uh, the speedo mounted as well uh, because what I had to do there was to uh, cut a hole in the rubber mounting cut for the uh, whoops for the trip button which is which is just pokes out here. Um, it's easy enough to do because the the rubbers come with an indentation showing you where that uh, hole should be if you have a trip. Um, or an odometer as part of the speedo, so that was easy enough to do. So, there we are. Um, what I've got on the top of the seat are some of the other items for fitting next. Uh, we've got the horn, which is now sprayed up in, in dove grain, looking pretty good. Um, that's the head study, but the final, these are the two final dove grey parts to fit. Obviously, the head study won't get fitted yet, but I've just been doing a bit of tidying up. Uh, we've got the levers. Oh, and there's the other uh, rear foot rest and rubber for the other side. And this is the side stand spring. I've got yet, that yet to fit. However, uh, we won't be uh, doing that today um, because we're having, a, we're having a bit of a rest from the A70. And um, I'm just going to be doing a bit of uh, polishing on the A75 as we aim to go out on this today to the BSA Owners Club National Rally Open Day. As a National Rally usually takes place annually at um, the local rugby club. So we'll, uh, we'll we'll have a ride out on the Rocket 3. However, the weather's a bit changeable. Um, it's been raining this morning. It's drying up now, but it might be a bit changeable. We'll see how it is anyway. So that's uh, hopefully I'll get some um, uh, some good footage of uh, some of the power set at the the BSA Owners Club uh, meeting. So let's see. Oh, last thing to mention is have bought uh, a new style battery, but um, this is compatible with the original uh, Lucas. I think it's PUZ five A battery, and it does fit really very well in the tray, and it's the right amp power. So again, one of the next jobs is to um, fit this and just confirm the lights etc do work with the proper amp power battery on it 12 volt 9 amp power rather than the uh, the weedy gel battery that's uh, next to it so um, with that summary in mind then um, let's get down to uh, doing a bit of bullying up and a uh, bit of a just a test run on the Rocket 3, it's not been run for a, a couple of weeks and it does tend to sump its oil a little bit even though there's an anti-sump valve built into these motors uh, but we'll sort that out and uh, next then uh, we'll uh, do some uh, shoots at the BSA Owners Club meet. Cheers. Okay there, there she is. Um, all cleaned up, ready to go. Painted the stone chips, stuff like that. Done a test, uh, test run just to get the uh, oil out of the sump and that's um, there was probably a pint in the, or a couple of pints in the in the sump just run it very steadily and it soon uh, goes back up into the tank uh, no damage no smoking uh, yeah really pleased with it running very well um, weather still a bit changeable but drying up and a bit brighter um, so there's plenty of time left yet for this afternoon see if we can get out but in the meantime, of course, what do you do to fill the time? You mess about. So there's a the new battery. 
just thought I'd try a horn test, etc., just to make sure um, what my fears were yesterday about the fact that my uh, test bulb little circuit um, sort of compromises some of the tests because of the bulb. I don't know, quite know why yet, but anyway, um, I've got uh, two wires here connected to to, uh, to each side of the horn. This horn actually has its own earth, it doesn't earth through the frame, which is correct. So uh, this battery is now fully charged from yesterday. We'll loosely put that on there. And hey presto, bingo. So pleased with that too. Okay, um, don't think I'm going to do any, any more on the uh, lightning, give that a rest. Um, I'm going to have a cup of tea and uh, let's see if this gloomy old weather can uh, uh, can clear up a bit. Um, have done a little bit on the uh, bandit today, just tidying up a few bits and pieces and uh, cleaning that up as it's been uh, stood for uh, a little while. And also on the E35 SS Fury, uh, I had the drill out last night on other matters, so uh, drilled the front number plate mountings, got that all solidly bolted up. So uh, yeah, progressing with everything. So let's wait for the weather. Cheers. Okay, it's quarter past two. Uh, we're going to risk it. It's quite bright now. I don't know if you can see, but some dark clouds on the horizon. But tell with it, we're going for a short ride and round to uh, the BSA owners' meeting, and we're going to have a scan round there. Let's go for it. Right here we are at the Beesum Owners National Rally, uh, Market Arbour Rugby Club. This is on the uh, Sunday. Open day, we've just had um, the gathering and some awards. Uh, you can just see my Rocket 3's over there, a bit of a late comer. But anyway, got a whole line of 71 oil in framers. Uh, so here's the first nice one, 71 Firebird Scrambler. We'll wander down. Nice Rocket 3. Hmm. Got 72 badges on it. Another one with 72 badges, heavily modified for sidecar. Thunderbird, nice colours. Sorry, Thunderbolt that was. Thunderbird, crikey, that's triumph. Thunder, Thunderbolt. There's another Thunderbolt. So I've got the Etruscan uh, bronze and white bottom. But yep, all these bikes are, are ridden. There's the nicest one. An original an Etruscan bronze with the um, fluorescent stripe, which is correct. All original and restored. Brake set up properly, you can tell from the cams. There's one going off. Another grey frame there, but slightly wrong colour red, but anyway, off it goes. That's fantastic. So, uh, the A70 line in the garage, the same colour scheme with the fluorescent orange stripe. And there we have it, an original one. Fantastic. Right, B50 Victor 72 colours. Um, I think it's high violet on the tank. White side panels with uh, high violet stickers, that is correct. One, two. Lightning 650. Uh, looks 62, got an oil cooler on it. Won an award for used original, fairly original bike. Some of them were red in, uh, in 62, but I think a bit cherry red than that, but that's a nice car. Uh, this one that people have seen before, which is the organised one. Quite an interesting looking bike. And then finally, 
this one in a rather nice shade of sort of olive green with all about 650 as well. So, all, all in the framers. So, definitely worthwhile coming here and we'll have a wander around, talk to a few people now. Um, there they are. Quick scan. Next year, we'll bring the 750. And let's end up. God, my arms get tired now, but let's end up with this one. Okay, and finally, uh, a 650 uh, Thunderbolt home market large tank. And, uh, this bike uh, was the first prize in the raffle. So there you go, that's in good nick, nick and uh, worth having. Tanks are really dark green, it looks black, but it's not, it's a really dark, I wouldn't know what you call it, not autumn green, but dark and that, really, really dark emerald green. Anyway, somebody um, is the lucky, lucky winner of that, and yeah, 72, L Red 72, 73. There we go. Okay, uh, back home from the rally, and uh, Rocket 3 tucked up, but really running well. Impressed with that. But uh, last thing before we close up for this one is I had to buy something. And this uh, was on a stall um, that was up by uh, Steve Brown, uh, the X Factory um, employee, mechanic, and budding racer, etc. Still doing the circles. He'll, he's selling off quite a bit of, um, quite a few parts that he's collected over the years and also paraphernalia and stuff like that. And uh, on his stand was this. And uh, I just had to have it. And it, it, this, this is all original. He's had it for 40 years. Uh, if I can get it out with one hand, bear with me a sec. I'm trying to do it so I don't scratch it. There we are, brand new, original paint, fantastic. So I couldn't, couldn't leave without it. So, and as I've not got any in stock now, um, then uh, it had to be. Okay, that's it for now, everybody. Um, bit of a break now for the week. Uh, next week when we come back, next weekend, if I've got time, I think we're gonna think about starting the uh, A70 Lightning motor which is uh, the other side of the bike languishing down there in some big lumps so uh, next weekend I think we'll dig that out okay thanks very much for watching everybody take care and see you again soon cheers